Welcome back, Guardians. We stand here staring at our favorite solitary robot who does not move no matter what crosses his path. He do oh, he moved a little. A little bit. A little bit. You're breaking my intro, dude. I was going to talk about how you don't even move. Rude. Well, anyways, we're here at the tower. We have a blue engram to decode here, which is the first of its kind that we have got, so I thought that would be fun uh, to start the episode off and see what it could be. Is it going to be a disappointment or a crazy thing? My dog is excited for it to be a... Freaking green. How? I thought they fixed this. Dudes, I thought you fixed this. I thought that couldn't happen anymore. I thought you couldn't get a green out of a blue. Filthy rotten. I don't want a fusion rifle. I, I, I didn't know that was a thing anymore, you stupid cryptarch. On to the next mission. Seems like the cryptarchs are really curious about this region of Mars. For years, the Cryptarchs have been waiting to break through the exclusion zone and find what's left in that buried city. They say Freehold birthed technological wonders. We cannot let the Cabal destroy it. The Cabal could have leveled that entire city. If they haven't brought it down yet, they must have found something valuable. We should track them, see what they're after. Why are they here? What do they need? We shall find it indeed, indeed. The Barrens is where we begin. That's not where we'll end up. We're headed off back to the city, which I think is one of the cooler locations I've seen in the game, as these level 20-somethings fight off against some ferocious beasts. And we're heading into a different side of the city, it looks like, entering from an other entrance uh, as opposed to when we took on the Vex and their stronghold. So let's see if this gets super sweet or not. We are at the penultimate mission. Next time we will do the Black Garden. Uh-oh. Optional event with I'll strong levels. Okay, I'm locating the Cabal signal, but there's also this. I'm upside down. Flip that sparrow. Ride that sparrow. Get on, please. Watch out for the narrow path. Let's kill this guy. I've got something. Inside building five. Hold up, but I want to kill this guy, Commander Edrus. Your game? Yes, because then if we get him, we get lots of yummy gems or something. Holy crap. He's probably going to kill me really quickly. But I will try my best to do damage to this fool. As he just like fires. He looks like he's like a lava man right now. You freaking Magmar, what's going on? Wrong game, that's Pokemon. I'm gonna shield his back and he's gonna send me flying. Alright, get in here. Friend, where are you? He's at checkpoint one of five. We don't want him to move. We're gonna have to do much more serious work. He's one level above me, so he shouldn't be that tricky. Especially since we do have a, another person on our team here who's level 25. Shouldn't he be doing like significant damage of some serious rate? We got a shield down. Let's take down his freaking. Not really almost. Depends what your definition of almost is. His shield regens so quickly. Gurger blue. Let's, let's blade dance this guy. Come on. Can be taken down. These optional events are pretty cool. I like the fact that they just randomly integrate themselves within the missions. That's the one time I'm happy to see uh, friendly faces that are other guardians. This could be going better. No, I think it's going okay. I mean, he's at checkpoint four or five, so we're probably not going to win here, are we? He moved from two to four, like, insanely quick. We might get him right here. I don't know. We have a good shot. Keep the shots coming. Keep the pressure on. Do not let him regen. No. Oh, that's bad. Do we keep the heat on? Yes! Well, we got okay, most well. of them. Good work. A bronze tier. It's better than a nothing tier. Lord Phalanx, Lord Phalanx. Shoot him in the butt. I've got an upgrade. Thank you, Mr. Nut. I'm out of here. Oh, now there's guys over here. Okay. It's like a welcoming committee for the mission. They're like, welcome back. You've got a skip grenade. Let's see how that goes. These guys are level 17, so they're minced meat for my Moo Moo Cannon. This guy turned his back on me. Scaredy can't. Sorry to see you go. I don't think we'll reach 18 um, via this second to last mission here, but we'll make it pretty close. Uh-oh. In comes a giant ship trying to make things nasty for us. So let's get on the move. While we still can. This is an empty room. Alright. That dude can fight those guys. Is this a legionnaire? 
It is. Legionary, very scary. Get out of the way. Give me your ammunition. Today is not your day. What? This has to be the right way, even though it's telling me it's not. It's like, this is the wrong way. Oh, there's the skip grenade. Burst into lots of little pieces. Imperial phalanx. Shoot him in the face. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're keeping up this guardian grace that we've built up over the last few... I don't know, however many episodes, 20 some odd episodes of this game. Boom. Getting my glimmer on. Popping heads like Donkey Kong. Oh! Super charge! It looks like, well actually, if we get the 4,000 from being in the mission and we get the bounty, which I think is 5,000 for the supercharge bounty, I think that's what it is. It could be in good shape. I don't know how well these guys are going to handle. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, okay. Yes, I did it. I did it. I did There's it. There's an active feed back to their base here. Let me listen. Okay, you can't listen just yet because I want to see how close I am to completing this bounty. I have 18 of 20, which is nice. Ho <laughs> ho! Imperial Centurion! How dare you stand in my way? Eat my skip grenades. They will blow you away, 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 away. No, 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 no. Sometimes I swear things like hit me straight in the face and the game doesn't count what it does. Come here. Come here, you ragamuffin. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Today's not your day. Get out of the way. All these little things on the ground. Pieces of his face, I guess. Um, where's our upgrade? It's on the chest armor. Increase the amount of shotgun ammo. Not that I really care. All right. Let's listen in. Martian holograms. What do we see? Looks like the Cabal have a recon team stationed at the top of the other skyscraper. They must have found something interesting. Let's check it out. All right. Go to the other skyscraper. Can I jump out the window? Yes. I'm a window jumper into the dome. This is where Epcot began. Ow! It hurt. And there's a dude in here. Looking to make my life easier or harder. Right? Well, easier as of now. Well, he's on a totally different floor. It's okay. So he's not going to mess with us just yet. Maybe we'll reach a point where he does make us feel a little bit strange. But we're going down before we go up. Not sure that's the best philosophy. But maybe there's a big old elevator. Bray, a center for scientific advancement, interplanetary defense, AI development, research on the traveler. This place could be a gold mine. Into the dust palace we venture. The last two missions, this one and the previous, have been some of the best in terms of like interesting areas in the game. I wish there were more unique locales like this that had their own kind of little bit of lore to them, you know? Grimoire progress is moving right along as we kill the Cabal. Oh god, Scions! Phalanx. Yeah, because we're both the same level now, it's like, I just scrape them up like poor puppies. Scattered on the front lawn, which sounds morbid, but it's the truth. These phalanx cabal creatures go down in just a few headshots. Poor babies. I'm supercharged already. Call me maybe. And I'm gone. Alright, we're heading to ascend the skyscraper, but remember, we first went down the skyscraper. Sometimes you have to go down to go up. You have to fail to succeed. You gotta sink to swim. Oh! Ouch. Hey. Ooh, one hit, one kill. That's my thrill. Sigh on the face. Your life is nil. Zero. Alright, which way? Through here. Down again. Makes makes good sense. Where's the big elevator? Is this the big elevator room? I'm ready for the big elevator room. And there's Vex coming in? What the what? That is weird. Vex and Cabal duking it out. Minotaur man, give me a shout out. Okay, these guys are going to battle, which is kind of cool to watch. Oh, there's a green engram. I love how they light up. That is one thing Destiny does really well, is make like the lights so pretty. It's like we're at freaking Disney World. Alright. I want to get three kills. The Minotaur is not the guy to do it to. He's just not, he's not the man for the job, you know what I'm saying? Everybody sleeps. Okay, good. Oh, Alright. 
This is where we want to be. One, two, three. You too, Legionary. Yeah, four guys. Four guys are plenty. And all we need is three. I'll take one extra. Just a little bit of treats. Look at these guys. Oh my god, I'm sorry you're here. They were just standing there doing- What are you guys doing? Look at this guy. What are you doing? Somebody hit me. I'm not sure quite where from. Quite where from? It's like horribly backwards grammar. Weird bounce shot. I'm not sure it did any damage. Cyans are weird creatures, aren't they? Haven't found any chests on Mars, I don't think at all. Um, do you guys see any? I see this legionary, or is a centurion? What up, bro? But he's my level, so it's gonna be quick work with a few shots of our gun. Aim for the head, and that was done. Yeah, I'm surprised there aren't more loot chests just like that you get for like beating a big a big wave of enemies or something like hey th we know this is gonna be a tough section so here's a loot chest like I would have thought we would have had more of that weird to me that there isn't much really at all like hey you defeat this huge area get this sweet loot even bosses it's like post mission you get the loot but the boss itself doesn't like drop a sweet gun usually if ever that I've encountered we're now making our I'm way picking up. up some strange activity not cabal keep pushing must be vex what if it's fallen? Oh, please be fallen. I'd love to see a resurgence of those guys here in the Overwatch. Everything's dusty. Do you think this is the same Mars we witnessed, or do you think it's a redesign? Eh, it's probably the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, is it the same Mars that we saw, or is it different because you're now so far away, so they might be... I don't know if I'm making any sense here. I hope I am, though. I'm sure some of you get what I'm saying. Or attempting to say. These guys need a new plan. Like, the shield is cool, but I think they need to learn that, like... Once they get hit in the arm, their whole life is done. So they should probably fix that. Like, in Phalanx 2.0, whoever designs the new Phalanx armor, they need to really think about the fact that if they get hit in the head, they get stunned and they're basically going to be dead. In just a few shots. It's not working out so well for them. They just stagger there. Like, what are you doing, boy? Supercharged again. Phalanx, my friend. I don't think Phalanx... Oh, Colossus. Awesome. Big gun, big gun. For my hun, the Colossus. Let's see if we can just shoot him a bunch. And he's gone. Alright, sweet. Oh, one bullet short for the kill. Alright, Colossus is dead. I'm supercharged. Shot those fools in the head and we're off. Ascending the tower. Down did go up. Eventually didn't it. Oh, what is this? I want to go in this magic purple portal. Are there three of you up here or just two? There's just two. See, I need three. It's weird that like once you're at the level... I can't even imagine people that played a bunch of Crucible during the campaign. Because like I'm... I've played like, what, like three rounds of Crucible during this entire campaign um, line, and imagine if you played more and you were at the point where you're like, hey, I, I'm so overleveled, I, I would cry because this is already like, at just the same level, it's not really much of a challenge, and imagine if you were like three levels higher or something, I mean, I guess you could set it to hard, but in terms of the way that they intended the flow of the campaign to go, I don't really get it. This would be such a walk in the park if I was like level 20 right now. Are there more cabal? Oh, there's more coming in. Okay. Guessing there's gonna be a big, big wave of them or something. Get a few kills, back out. Scream and shout, scream and shout. I mean, basically, headshots are. I don't know. Do you guys think headshots are too overpowered in this game? Like, it does so much freaking damage. Or maybe these guys are just weak. I don't know. We've got them. What's left? Like a scion? Oh, yeah. I expelled the Cabal. Right? Wave number... Eldose? Brachistaran. 
That guy looks like a madman. Run away from Brackus. General Braxton. Brackus. Brack Brackalicious Broccoli. General Broccoli, stay away from me. Alright. Just thin the horde from Brackus. All, all these enemy encounters kind of play out the same too. It's like thin the horde, kill the big. I wish there was like a guy that kept spawning or he could split into multiple pieces or he would had like multiplicity or I don't know, something. Otherwise, you literally use the same tactic for all of these, which is like fine. It's sort of like doing the same thing over and over again. <laughs> oh, golly. Nicked you in the knee. He dropped an engram though, that's awesome. All right, we're down to just Brachus. Come here, Lord Brachus, you filthy grunt. At least he's moving quickly, but I, I honestly don't think he can hit me from here. So it looks like there's two engrams. He's going down so freaking fast, it's not even fair. Poor thing, Brachus, I apologize to your mama in advance for killing you so freaking quickly. Bye bye, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. This machine, it's still active. Let me analyze it. Okay, it was just loot, it wasn't engrams. I always. Engrams are more exciting. But hey. Secure the agent machine. Butatious. Buahaha. I'm guessing this is gonna be the end of the mission. Oh, we're raising up this. Shoot it! This AI once connected to the war mind of Mars. Ooh. But that, that's the end of the mission, apparently. So we won't reach 18 with the uh, the 4,000 XP like I thought we might, but uh, we will come close. Rasputin's controlling it. I can't get in, and neither could the Cabal. He's everywhere now. Is that? Who's Rasputin, the Queen's brother, or is it just a random dude? I don't even know. Like, they don't they don't explain these guys very often, do they? Who is Rasputin? King of the Rats? Alright. Skip grenade, shotgun ammo, higher jump. 77 kills, no deaths, 16 ability kills, 36 precision kills, and some more stuff. <gasps> Big boy hand cannon. So could we use our fabled hero? Weaponry for the final battle. Do I see that in our future? Do I see it in our future? Let's check and see. Um, I do have an engram there. These are 94, but I don't like them. We talked about that last... some other time. I don't... All these new weapons here, though. Um, 155 hand cannon. These are the exact same gun, aren't they? Bandit MK36, Bandit MK36, okay. We'll buy Bandit MK36. This is an auto rifle, it's 155, that's 132. So, we've got a 155 and a 155 here, with a rate of fire and impact. Eight magazine, let's go with the hand cannon. We'll rock the hand cannon for the final mission, see how it goes. Um, are these like identical? I like the higher rate of fire. So we'll burn you. And this is a way worse armor, so... Dismantle that piece of boy, and now we're going for our final quest. It looks like the Black Garden will be up next. We do have a level 18 strike here at the Dust Palace. Um, but that is not what I'm after. I'm after the Black Garden, that mode of light, and the XP bonus. So we'll cash in our bounty and head to Mars next time. Until that time, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you're ready to wrap things up. Drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.